How Hobbyists Program Roblox Developers to Lose So on Roblox, there are people who want to make money from their work. There are people who want to build careers that last. They want to build businesses too. And there are people who think that passion comes above everything. You should never have a strategy. Never try to make money. And if you do, you're just an evil cash grab creator. These hobbyists are really envious of people pursuing what actually works on this platform and pursuing their own self-interest, right? Trying to make money for yourself. They have a problem with you trying to make a living. They have a problem with you trying to make successful games. And when they see you having a mindset that helps you to do that or taking actions towards those goals, they will try to stop you. So let's demonstrate how. Let's say these are the hobbyists and these are the serious developers. So serious developer goes on X and he says, I am going to make a game on the latest steal a trend. This will help me to earn money to fund better projects down the road. I'll update you on the progress. So this guy, he makes a tweet. Simple, right? He's just saying what he's gonna do in development. He's gonna make a steal a game. Now, hobbyists will see this, and what they see is not somebody who is ambitious, who has goals, right? When we look at this, we see somebody who is ambitious, goal-driven, business-minded, strategy first. We think this guy's smart. But then hobbyists see this and they see greedy cash grabber looking to make a quick buck. And they'll say, they will go on your post and they will make comments. They'll say, you're soulless. You are ruining the platform. That's a cash grab. So what they're doing is they're trying to shame you. All of this language is just dripping with shame, right? And if they can get you, if they can get you as a serious developer to feel shame and feel bad about trying to make money and being strategy first, they can control your behavior. So this is the hidden purpose behind their words, right? This is the hidden purpose behind their words. When hobbyists say this, they are literally trying to control you. They're moralizing. They're saying, you're just a greedy cash grabber looking to make a quick buck. When really what you are is ambitious, goal-driven, business-minded, and strategy first. You know that if you aim to make money, right, and you actually succeed at that, you could turn Roblox into your full-time job. And it'll help you to fund better games later using that capital that you earned. Now you can go and pay dev to make more games and to make better games and start to build a business on Roblox rather than just being a one-man team and being limited by your own time and effort. That's the point of making money. It's not about making a quick buck. It's about building leverage. But they don't understand that. They don't care. They just want to shame you to control you. But on the surface, right, it almost sounds noble, right? It sounds like they're trying to do something good. They're trying to protect the platform, right? Or they're saying you're soulless. They want games made with heart. Or that's just a cash grab. They don't want you just making low quality games just to make money, right? But really, especially when this is a developer saying this, a developer steeped in a hobbyist mentality, they are envious and insecure. Because there are so many hobbyists out here waiting to hate on you for making tweets and saying that you're gonna approach development with a strategy first mindset, that you're gonna be a serious developer who tries to make money from their work and doesn't feel any shame about that, right? It takes confidence to go out there and say this. It takes drive, it takes motivation, it takes purpose, it takes a vision, it takes knowing where you're going. It takes knowing that, yeah, if I'm gonna be a serious developer, if I'm gonna be somebody who tries to make money and benefit myself in the process of making games and tries to build a career or a business, I'm gonna be hated on by all of these hobbyists who wanna shame and moralize and tell me that I'm a bad person just for trying to make what works on Roblox, just for trying to 
right? Make simple games first that are effective, right? We wouldn't see so many of these games like Steal a Brain Rot and Grow a Garden on the very top of the front page if that wasn't what people genuinely want to play. There is a different definition of quality that is held by the players of Roblox. And I'm talking about most players. So most players, right, are young. So those players might value different things in a game, right? They value fun above everything else. As players get older and as developers get older, yeah, they might start to value graphics a little more, but still fun comes first. But these games, they aren't low quality. They're just different and they're simple. And that's what people have to understand. And when people can get out of the hobbyist mindset and just see reality for what it is rather than slapping labels on everything, like that's slop, that's a cash grab, all this stuff, right? Is the second that they see reality clearly and they can start to actually learn from what's successful on the platform and adopt it into their own approach. So they can make more successful games themselves. People who are stuck in this hobbyist mindset usually won't change. They just want to change you. And you need to remember this. There's also something key here. They are virtue signaling. So when they're sounding noble, they're really just trying to sound good to everyone else. Hey, look, guys, I'm not like these evil, serious developers. I'm actually selfless and care about the platform and making quality games. Not only are they trying to shame you and tear you down, they're also trying to make themselves look good to all the other people steeped in the hobbyist mentality. So you're starting to see how a lot of the Roblox developer social dynamics operate, right? Beneath the surface, there's a lot of toxicity. And this toxicity is aimed at tearing down ambition. And it's aimed at taking down people who want to be professionals in this field whether they are successful yet or not, right? Whether you have made a game before that's made with a strategy first mindset, making simple games first, aiming to make money so that you can fund better projects as you progress in your career. If you're even just saying something that seems to be from a strategy first perspective, people are gonna come and hate on you. If you seem like somebody who's an entrepreneur, they're gonna come with this hobbyist, nonsense and start trying to shame you and control your behavior. So what you need to do is ignore these people. I'm not saying go after them, just ignore them and keep on doing what you're doing, right? You see why they're doing what they're doing. It's not because they're these good people who just care so much about the Roblox platform. They're really just envious, insecure people who want to shame you and take you down and control you and force you to do what they want and make the games they want you to make rather than making the games that benefit you and the games that you want to make yourself, right? But th them virtue signaling, they're trying to raise their status. These people who are hobbyists, they would rather play, listen very closely, hobbyists would rather play the status game than the Roblox development success game, right? Because this is an easy game to play. Oh, you're just soulless. You're just a soulless cash grab maker. Oh my God. This is a hard game to play because you are the one who's actually in the trenches of Roblox Studio making your games. You're the one who, if you're later on in this journey, is the war general sending his troops to battle, the, the leader of developers telling your team to go make your next big game idea, right? This is hard. It takes a lot of work to go out there and get results. Players, Robux, subscribers on your dev content channel, whatever those results are that you want. But serious devs are here, right? And the ironic thing is, if you don't play this hobbyist status game and you instead focus on playing the Roblox development success game, you will inevitably raise your status above all the hobbyists in the end. You will win in the end. Because these people have a mindset that holds them back. They don't think about Roblox development not only as an art, but as a business. They're limited to just seeing it as an art. And art is great, and we also see it as an art, but it's low leverage. Serious developers also see Roblox development for what it is, a business as well. Games are works of art, and they are products. But you, as a serious developer, must 
put the entrepreneur mode of thinking first because we are in a competitive market filled with millions of players, millions of games, millions of developers competing to get the players you want. And we have to make a product that satisfies the market desires better than all the other products, better than all the other games. That's how business works. So your game isn't just a piece of art because it's being put into a marketplace full of all these other products right? You are competing against the top games on Roblox. You are competing against games by Jandel. You are competing against Jailbreak all at the same time. So you have to keep that in mind, right? You have to know what the market wants and you have to cater to that first. That's strategy first. And then down the road, right? After you've made games that are successful, after you've made games that have earned you a lot of money, you can then make your passion projects down the road, but do not make them when you're new. You probably won't be able to finish them. But yeah, so you can see people like this are gonna win. Strategy first, Roblox developers are the future because they think of this like a business too. People like Do Big would not be as successful as they are being a monopoly owning dozens of games on Roblox if strategy first didn't work. You need a strategy to be successful in the modern Roblox marketplace. So the question is, are you gonna say in the hobbyist mentality with all these people who just wanna hate all day and virtue signal, right? When really they're just envious people who wanna shame serious developers for doing what they do and for pursuing ambitious goals, right? If you wanna get thousands of players, if you wanna get hundreds of thousands, millions of Robux a month in earnings, if you want to make a lot of money from commissions, if you want to build a successful dev content channel, they're going to come at you. They're going to hate on you. And you just have to keep focused on your work that's going to build your empire and ignore everything that they say. That's the solution. And as I said, you will win in the long run. Click here to learn more about Strategy First Roblox game development, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching.